if you don't mind, I'm, I know we're moving, but are you comfortable sort of describing what they are for the community? I mean, I, I think it's it's rather the volunteer fire company in this community could use more human, more volunteers. And I think it would be good to, to give the community some sort of an idea as to what the volunteers volunteer for. Right. We talk about it, but a lot of people in our town don't really know that these people don't just show up for fires, Bill, they train. What our time <laughs> is involved. Yeah. 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 So just to real quick, the time involved. Well, how much time did these guys do put in training? A new member, when a new member comes in and is not in the fire service and has to go through his training, before he can even fight a fire, they have to go through 180 some hours of training to get certified. That's away from work. You know, they got work on top of it, a family. Then it's keeping up on everything. We have yearly trainings that we have to stay up and certified on. That's probably about another, at least 24 to 36 hours requirements there. And uh, we have our normal trainings on Thursday nights, which is about four or five hours. Plus we have other trainings. We just had one about a week ago on a Sunday for six hours. We've had weekend trainings for 16 hours. These are throughout the years. On top of doing our <coughs> fundraising for the cash bash, fish fries, gun bash, the mega bash tickets. And I didn't even get into the fire calls, you know, that we go on and we miss work for. You know, the guys leave work or show up to work late you know, we run, we have an average of about 200 calls a year, is what we get, you know, and we've all missed those family things from Thanksgiving, Christmas, birth, kids' birthdays, major stuff that we do. And uh, we have a good team over there, and we do this for nothing. You know, yeah, the borough helps out a lot, everything else, but, you know, these people put their time in. For nothing to come down and do it for the community. Chief, to, to, to get this, what 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 are the standards that you're putting in place for a volunteer to uh, to qualify? I mean, we followed suit with another one that right. that came in. It, it has a list on it. Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's in the resolution. Yeah, it's one hundred hours, twenty five hours of which must be training, and eight hours must be truck checks. They have to attend six out of 12 regular meetings, 20% of available fundraising hours throughout the year, and 20% of emergency calls. That's active and special active life number. So associate is 40 hours, six out of 12 meetings, 20% of available fundraising hours throughout the year. Yeah, oh, age range. No, there's no age range. The yeah, other thing. No. No, no, don't. Yeah. Ed, Ed Rufinak was still a fireman into his 80s? Mm. He was 96 when he passed away. He was 96. And so he was active all the way up to the very last year. Right, and I remember him at the... A fault, took him out, so, so, for the last year. You know, while there's a, there's a, you know, a lot of training involved, they're not looking for, you know, Four or five hundred hours. If you have what, two hundred hours a year, you know that goes quick. Yeah, but what I'm quick. trying what I'm trying to say to the community chief is, we need, if we you need. have time, they can. And use that's not even firefighting. In you can come in as right. Uh, Councilman Colosmo has, you know, mm -hmm. as an associate just to help out behind the scenes. There's always right. stuff to do. It's very busy down there, and I think a. A lot of people in the community don't realize how busy we are behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody here knows, but there's a lot of work involved to keep it going and to keep it, you know, I don't want to say this, but I have to, is to keep it so we're still a volunteer service for this community. Mm -hmm. You know, none of us want to see it go to the next level. And that's what we're trying to do to keep it going that way. It's a great part of the community. Yeah. Thank and you for we, telling we the community. <laughs> and we didn't create this. This was a bill that was proposed by was it the fire commissioner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tim and, 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 yeah, the yeah. fire commissioner presented this 
and got this bill in for everybody. This is a start for stuff to help us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's the thing. Right. And Councilman, there's, I'm using it as a, as a springboard to allow the chief to tell the community what we up here already know. Yeah. That volunteers are needed. Yes. Yeah. We're very, and everybody knows we're very active in the community because we're at all the community mm -hmm. events that really go on. So we take pride in that. Yeah. And we got Santa detail coming up, so I'll report on that <laughs> later on. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello.